Right now, running David on TV, everyone knows me, everyone believes in the brand, everyone thinks Petros has this right. So I happen to be homeless now that I'm old, running David on TV. You know, growing up Akasi, post apartheid regime in the early 90s, it was difficult for me as a kid. So mom wouldn't go to town with me because police time and again. Still in the in the yeah, you know. <laughs> When, when they stop us, you know, mom would have to explain, this is my son, mm. you know, and they would say, proof. So uh, we would speak stronger, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and then the mom would have to explain, this is my son, you know, and they would say, proof. So we would speak stronger, you know. You know, they were never born into that. They were never raised into that. You know, no one has ever said when I grew up, I want to kill people, I want to do this, you know. But they are telling their story in that way. I remember the first time I confronted you about how to, to create a podcast. Sure. I wanted to be in this space myself. Sure. sure. And you were doing very well with David, David on TV. And sure. Also coming in with sure. Sure. to be content sure. and all that. Sure. But the way you responded to me when I said to you, Joe, I want to have my own mm. thing. And you said, mm. Hey, do you mean I've shame? Mejan, you call. Nay, nay, I Welcome to your Uzwin, the African Parliament, the show for the people, the show that intends to uh, create a platform for all individuals that have something to say in this uh, environment that we live in. My name is Dalton Vusmuzo Mashangane, and I'm your host. Uh, today we've got a very special guest uh, who goes by the name of Petros Teddy Koza. Yeah, man. Petros Teddy Koza is, um, is a Christ Christian brother. Who is the writer of uh, a book uh, as a, which has recently been re released? Uh, it's called um, "Learning to Love Myself Through Tears." Um, he's not just a writer; he's he's an artist. He's 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 a he's, he's a he's a public figure. Well, then, uh, <laughs> do, do do a lot of things. Like I'm I'm confused, uh, brother. Who are you? I've seen you being a biker. Why to you? <laughs> And let me tell you, this guy was a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> at some point. At some point. At some point. You know, so, you know, like, like, like wine ferments and matures. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, Ikamo Petrosi, Gizaloga Koza. I grew up in, in the ghetto like any other black South African guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to a township school, the government school. And I'm just a broken guy who is trying to rebuild himself by day, you know. And in short, um, I'm a lover of, of uh, life. I love people. I'm a father of three kids, two beautiful daughters, and, you know, one boy. Um, all I do every day of my life is to talk to the next person and remind them that they are not what happened to them, mm. but they are who they decide to be. You know, yeah. So basically, that, that that's who Petros is. Uh, if that's very short and sweet, but it tells a lot, my brother. Yeah. Like, I'm um, looking at your profile, looking at the work that you've done for the community. And and looking at this book, this is so amazing, my brother. Thank you. Know, you. I remember, um, like a week ago, I was I was like excited. I yeah, for the yeah. interview. Yeah, sure, sure. Because the of the excitement and the adrenaline that comes. Yeah, at you, man. sure. So why why this book, Petros? Listen, Mdaga, um, we all have stories. You sitting here, you have a story to tell. Mm. You know, and me here, the next person who's watching this, wherever they are, they have a story to tell. The unfortunate part is that we are not gifted the same way. There's someone right now who's a serial rapist. You know, they were never born into that. They were never raised into that. You know, no one has ever said, when I grew up, I want to kill people, I want to do this, you know. But they are telling their story in that way, you know, and of which it's a wrong way. So this book was me sitting down looking that I'm a mixed breed. Growing up, Akasi, post-apartheid regime in the early 90s, it was difficult for me as a kid. So mom wouldn't go to town with me because police time and again. Still in the police, Shanga. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and you know what would happen when when they stop us. You know, mom would have to explain, "This is my son." Mm. You know, and they would say, "Proof." So uh, we would speak stronger. You know, logo say, "I was Shanga, I was wrong, so Mara for sure." Yeah, you know. <laughs> so growing through that and during that time, it was difficult at school. I had Kelly Ham. You know, when my hair grows, gets curly. So everyone at school like that, something to say about me. You know, everyone would jump my name and label me what they wanted. Yeah. You know, of which it was something that it was heavy on me, but in a lighter way of being a child. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like now wherever I go, someone just tried to speak in English, you know. 
And when I reply back, she's like, no, something is wrong. Mm. You know, kids, they call me my friend and all of that. Mm. So in this book, I'm trying to say, you are not what people are saying about you, but you are who you think you are. You know, if if everyone labels me my friend, I am not my friend. Mm. You know, if everyone calls me names, I am not that. I am my mother's son. I am Petros. I am me. Mm. You know, so when people label you, they deny you the opportunity of being you. Mm. Because now, every time I have to explain why am I a Kaland uh, that speaks Isizulu? Why am I a Kaland that speaks uh, Shangani? Like, so it's like every time of every day of my life, I live to to what to to stand in the gap of myself and not be myself. Mm. You know. My mother and my father, they had the opportunity to love each other. Mm -hmm. The good times happened. Yeah, of course. And, and I was there. You know? <laughs> then at the end, they decided to go separate ways. Mm. I don't know what was the reason. And now, at my age, because of my father, I'm not even intending to know why. <laughs> <laughs> because you might also be going through the same problems. Exactly. It's, it's you know? Sick, but yeah. So mom and dad had an opportunity to meet, do what they've done, and I haven't. So they also had a choice yeah. to meet time and again for me to know my father mm. but that decision affected me in this book i'm talking about such decisions mm. you know go someone right now drove and crushed your your parents you know and someone right now is doing something wrong to you someone will disappoint you someone will let you down someone will even go an extra mile to hurt and re-hurt you and do all these things that are unimaginable. Mm -hmm. It is not you who decided that. Mm -hmm. You know, someone is in a wheelchair right now complaining and still crying about what happened. Yes, it has happened, but we're still here. So, in, in, in this book, like, um, I, I see the, the I'm, I'm very much interested in the tears part. Sure. You, know, um, you, you speak um, of, 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 of hard times and bad times. Sure. Um, we, which specific or particular moment that you can highlight right now that actually made you to shed a tear at a level that you felt that there's no going back here. You know, mm -hmm. um, probably it could have built you. Sure. Uh, it could have it could have destroyed you. Sure. But obviously now that you are sitting here, obviously yeah. you survive sure a moment. <coughs> so yeah. Trying to yeah. find the type of difficulties that you experienced that actually activated the part tears sure. in, in the book. Just just yeah. one, one one moment. Well growing up it, it has been difficult at home, mm. like difficult to the core that one time we were homeless, you know, but that one, let me say it a story for another day. Let me just talk about something that everyone would relate to, you know, um, right now, running David on TV, everyone knows me, everyone believes in the brand, everyone think Petros has this right. So I happen to be homeless now that I'm old, running David on TV, mm. you know, and in that way, I had then to relocate, go back to Cloverdean, where I left home to go face life alone. Mm -hmm. And now I have to return back, but I can't go back home. So I have a friend who accommodated me in a storeroom. A storeroom? A storeroom. And when I went to that storeroom, I had to clean the storeroom. I had a single bed. My clothes, uh, whatever boots, Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so look at a couple Yeah, so I did that and I think there's something I'll share today that nobody knows about it. Yeah, there's a friend, Matibane, I was working again again in his church, a commando shop upstairs. Mm -hmm. So the guy when he was supposed to relocate to a new church, I was not gonna have an office space. So when I left where I was coming to this storeroom that I'm talking about now, I went to church and I stole two chairs. Okay. <laughs> I think it's my <laughs> first time sharing this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. I stole two chairs. Yeah. Because I knew where I'm going, I need a chair. And of course. Yeah. So I had a, nyana, a table. Nyana. I took those two chairs from church. I told no one about them. I have one of those chairs now in my house. The other one got broken. I replaced it with another one. Mm -hmm. And I moved into that storeroom. I had to make life in that storeroom. Ashfuta, there was nothing proper. The door wasn't even locking, you know? Mm -hmm. And I remember when I walked in, I had to clean Mafosholo, Mangolovan, and all of that, you know, clean it. And let me tell you how it felt. It felt heaven mm. because the situation I was in, and the fact of the kind of a person I am, 
uh, even if I were to come and explain to you, you wouldn't believe me mm. because I've appeared to be the most strongest guy in Gaza. I, I believe that it's not always about the situation you're facing. It's the mindset. Sure. Um, for, an, for an example, people rejoice in the rain. Sure, you know? sure. And there are people who find hard times in the rain. You know? Exactly. Like they, exactly. They feel homeless. They feel sure. sad. Sure. And, and, and all that. But there are people who, when they're in the rain, they actually find it as a blessing. Sure. So it depends. It's the mindset. It's how you sure. view your space and how you you maneuver your space around things that happens to you. I mean, like I would have told you to tell I know. I know. A very tough or hard one. <laughs> but it's not about me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And it's like a very bad man. For sure. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Yeah, man. Yeah. So to, to cut the long story short, when I moved you to the storeroom, I stayed there. Um, you know, life life is a way. God has a way of working his things. You know, anywhere he's gone, you cannot question him. Yeah. I ended up finding myself in the storeroom that I was in, and then getting into the house. Okay, the house was worn out. The house was just a mess. I have nothing. I don't even have a cup, you know, for crying out loud. I have nothing. I have to start afresh. When I walked into the house, I fixed the house because the house was a mess, mm. you know. And here am I trying to produce uh, the content, you know, me with content. I don't give a rain where I am. There's always content, I know. Mm. Then there's these gentlemen that uh, they are old folks. They they old. They were all moneyed, you know. So they would use to come to my house, gather there. There's a show we're doing together. And one time, like they came to my house and sat down and asked me if I have a vision about my life. Yeah. And when I tried to explain, they told me how dirty my house was. They told me how low my life was. You know, they started like telling me what they were thinking about me. Mm. That day broke me down of all encounters that I've had in my life, that day broke me down. Mm. These are people that I was trying to help, you know? All of them, they had no good PR online, they had nothing, their businesses and all that they were running. All of them I was doing PR for their projects individually, mm. so, and bringing them together, giving them a platform. And it was during COVID, mm. you know, when everyone was was just indoors. So when they had time to come meet in my house, network out, invite different people time and again. I remember that moment. Remember, we were also trying to create a movie called... Exactly. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Le le leave people's names. Let's leave it for... No, yeah. it's not names. It's just the name of the movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah. when these guys came and, and spoke and said what they said, and one of them said to me, you know, every time I, I walk in here, I feel like I can just tear this house down and build you a proper house. Yeah. Man, to me, that was the best I had. Mm. You know, you know when someone comes and tells you, go, this is, this is rubbish. And this thing and that brings is a like, solution at the same time. They have no solution. When they left that day, where I was sitting, I was crippled. I physically, mentally, and spiritually. And uh, chief, to the level whereby Anna Pukangala Sofin, I stayed in that couch. I think uh, two days later, I was taken back home. Mm. Then I was in bed for two weeks. Because of it was COVID, everyone thought I had COVID, mm -hmm. you know, but it was bad. Go, These were people whom I was looking up to. I thought one day they were going to help me, you know, because they had all that I need. Mm -hmm. You know, they would come park 10 cars in my yard, you know. Mm -hmm. With them coming to my house, like it was, yeah, like I felt I'm a man, you know. And the other incident was one guy who was supposed to come for an interview when he got to my house said, I'm not going to get into this dirty place, mm -hmm. you know. And he did a U-turn and he left. And I was hurt. Because you could do anything to me, but David on TV is my baby. You know, you cannot separate it from me. In as much as we talk, the brand and you should be separate things, but you cannot, you know. So, so that is one thing that has broken me down because of this thing that I believed in and this thing that I was doing. Someone came and spoke better of it. And in all they said, it, it didn't dent the brand only, but it also dented me personally, uh -huh. you know. And I'm trying to say, I think I've, I've written that, I think in the last two chapters of the book, to say life will happen to you, but you are not what people say. You are who you decide you are. Mm -hmm. So in this book, I'm talking about such incidents. Go, life will happen to you. You know, someone will, will leave you with a child, you know, and go. Someone will, will rape you, leave you infected, leave you with a child who will have to grow without uh, a father. But that doesn't define who you are. You yes, some who you want. Sure. Yes, some good news. Sure. Yes, some good news. <clears throat> Just to give you some kind of sanity. Sure. And put you in a better space. You yeah. Know? Um, the reason why we are sitting in this studio today mm. is you. Sure. Um, 
I remember the first time I confronted you about how to, to create a podcast. Sure. I wanted to be in this space. Myself. Sure, sure. And you were doing very well with David, David on TV. And sure. Also coming in with sure. a little bit content sure. and all that. Sure. But the way you responded to me when I said to you, Joe, I want to have my own room. Mm. And you said, mm. bro, I'm going to help you. You should yeah. equip me with certain equipment. Sure. You know, that says a lot about you as a brother. You know? Thank you so much. And, and out of all the things that have made you to even include the word tears in your book mm. i think this is a story that you can take home that yeah um i might be older than you sure i might i might have better advantages than you sure but at the end of the day you have a contribution into the success of what i'm doing here today I'm the persistence level the the, the the continuity to try and build you know i i have i have a couple of people that i can mention you know, yeah. uh, Kopan, Kopan has always been there. Like, yeah. And we are just ordinary people, you know, we are not yeah. fleshy, we are yeah. not styles. But at the end of the day, we produce products. You know, for sure. So why, this is the reason why we wanted you to be our first guest in this. Nah. So that you can share those moments and then inspire other people out there. Sure. Uh, sure. There's one thing that we haven't mentioned. We've just been mentioning David on TV. Sure. We are kids from David Hall. Sure. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. sure. come from a broken town. Bra. There, there's so much talent in our township, but sure. we lack role models. Sure. And seeing you sitting here today, I'm counting you amongst a number of people that have identified their potential. Yeah. You can, you can build, you know, and create sure. um, the, a, a better vision for the young yeah. ones that are coming sure. after us. I'm sure. sure. 80% of the young people like us right now are Nyaobe addicts. And yeah. What, what's your take on, 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 on... I think there's something that you've said, go, we lack role models. Yes. You know, one, in this generation, we lack role models. Number two, we have a lot of characters instead of mentors. You know, when someone is a character, it means they are playing that character, but uh, at the end of the day, they are not that. They have to come back, you know, uh, to themselves. You know, when you are casted in a play and you play uh, Chingadza, then you go, you become Chingadza, then after you come back. Mm. You know, the mentors we have now, they are not mentors, they are characters. Mm. You know, they tell you they are mentors on socials only. They are not real mentors because a mentor is a person whom you have a heart to heart with. It's a person who must walk the journey with you. That is a mentor. So, Alok Shini, the only mentors we have, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm being honest. <coughs> if, if you mentor someone, it, you are trying to say, let's walk this journey together. See why I'm bleeding and try to correct that in your life. You know, it's like if I say to Junior, um, listen, you, my son, I'm going to, you know, step here and you come, you step into that. I step here, you follow me. You know, that's me, uh, mentorship and coaching. But today, all we have, it, it, it's these old folks who will just take these young ones to Amabas, buy them booze, you know, and inspire them to do wrong things. We don't have people who just call out for order. Yeah. You know, um, I'm one person, there's, but I always go around, check if there's someone who's not studying, who's in the age of going back to school, I make means. You know, I always make means. I'm one person who go house to house, knock, invite everyone to church. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I call mentorship. That's what I call role models. You know, the only role models we have are guys now is driving a GTI. Like, go to any young boy, they'll tell you about GTI. Mm -hmm. You know, GTI yeah, GTI drivers and always carrying cooler boxes with five girlfriends in the car. Mm -hmm. You know, you go on TikTok, what is it that is trending? It's, it's, it's a VW Kumbi that is trending with a guy who is trying to talk to this lady or this lady has stolen your phone. So you check what is happening around. That's all that we, we see. You know, what you see, you become. You know, there's this thing of monkey see, monkey do. I, I on that, I, I, I recently posted on Facebook that sure. I'm, I think I've been on Facebook for the longest of time. Sure. You know, sure. I think since the inception of Facebook, we, we were coming from uh, Mixi. So sure. we, sure. we, we, we went to my space. <laughs> And then we stayed a bit on my space and then sure. a convenient platform was created mm. on Facebook. You know, I once posted that, like, people consume things that they like. You sure. it's, it's your choice for sure. you to co consume uh, bullocks, you know. Sure. Sure. If you want to consume BS, it's, it's up yeah. to you. Sure. If you want to consume um, uh, constructive uh, content, it's up to you. Sure. Then again... Um, Motivation alone is not is not enough. You know, you need you need you need some role models. Sure, I've just mentioned. Sure, um, and in in this conversation, you you have mentioned uh, uh, is it this Vanana? 
no. you being inspirational in terms of getting people to church. Sure. Um, what, what is your view on, 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 on African um, uh, traditions and, and beliefs? Listen, um, you know, there's, there, there's a huge mistake and a wrong interpretation when we speak about culture and what is happening today. You see, culture is a way of doing things, mm. but we are not conformed into culture. Remember, when COVID came, there was a new culture of wearing masks. Mm. Today, COVID is no longer here. We cannot wear masks and say, uh, it's our culture to wear masks. Do you get me? Machangani, maja gushe. Gushe, I talk just machangani. Gushe, imuroho, wukona everywhere in the world. Wuranzo, machangani. What is this? So, African beliefs are African beliefs. You know, spirituality is spirituality. Christianity is Christianity. The only challenge, the only challenge that has confused people and everyone, I, I stand to be corrected. It's when us theologians come together to fight and oppose each other. You know, then now that is wrong. You see, uh, I'm a producer, you are a producer. And today we are creating content for the people. So we are talking about the book. If you and I can come here and start talking about the production and you have mics, I don't have these mics. So I'll talk bad about the mics mm. and you will promote the mics. Then we are, we, are, we are confusing the one who's watching. Yeah, yeah. God is simple. God is simple. God is love. It took theologians or religion leaders to confuse God to people. In this book, my take, the last, the last thing I've, I've written in this book, it says, um, uh, you know, um, listen, you will do mistakes. Don't give up on yourself. Yeah. This is all that we have to preach. To this, this is all about yourself. Don't give up. No matter what happens, don't give up. Life will happen. People will hurt you. People will betray you. Life on its own will betray you. At some point, you will feel God has forsaken you. Mm. But listen, don't give up on yourself. And wanting to prove our personal wisdom. You know, God is not finding philosophy. He's God. He's God outside philosophy. Remember, he didn't create the world inside it. He created the world outside. Mm. He was outside. So he's got a better view. He's got a better view than any of us. Yeah. All these personal revelations and all of that, I'm not against them. Mm. But the one that he has revealed to me is that God is love. So if we love his people and when they feel loved, then they'll turn back to God. Yeah. Sure. No, thank you for that. So t tell me, like in the concept of, 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 um, you uh, being a spiritual person. Sure. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll have to... Sure, no, let's, let's go there. Like, have you, like, looked at other possible uh, ways of illustrating God's existence? Like, for instance, I know of the ways of Kemet, you know? Mm -hmm. Ways of Kemet, you know, it's 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 also um, the, a traditional African way sure. in which it sure. is from Egypt. Sure. You know, but it, it talks also about uh, our spirituality as yeah. as a people. No. Uh, it talks mostly about upaka. You know, when minalang kula kona, kula ngazuti, ma upaka u tandaza bandu ba mati mo. You know, um, our our beliefs and cultures have been zombified. Sure. In a way that it becomes difficult for one to even stand proud and say, "Kasi kasi minang ya upaka ka ngay sa binbus." <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. you know, and, 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 and if I, if I sit here in Canada, I'm, I'm very proud. Of sure. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon are part of the people that want to see them. Sure. You know, sure. those are the people that protect their culture from start to finish. Sure. That's why Bashar, Bashar is Pandra. Footman, man, man, born born as Pandra. Bashar is the big no one. Sure. Sure. Football. Yeah. Man, see me. These people, uh, they believe in their culture, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, uh, like, what would you say to a person who's sitting out there with a the spirit roaming around or their belief or themselves roaming around without a space of comfort? You know? Sure. How would you advise a person who's sitting there and saying, ah, I know, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a line, I think there's a paragraph where I'm talking a bit of what I'm going to say now again, where I say there's many non-believers, you know, people who doesn't believe in Christ. You know, yeah. who come to me and say, What if Longkulungulwena Gekko? What if Uchesa Gekko? And my answer is simple. It is that even if it doesn't exist, one thing I know it is that there's a supreme power that created everything that we see today. Actually, that is the power that I'm submitting myself unto. Mm. The Bible says, Um Shaba no Gutwalisega Gwawo Ungoga Jehovah. 
Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, God says to Jeremiah, I knew you before you were formed. So that you and I are sitting here today, it's not a surprise to God. Mm. He knew. He had it learned. Listen, you were born before me. Yeah. Listen, when your father was born, God knew today was going to be here because he knew that through your father you will come and through you, BFG will come. Mm. And through this book, we will sit here. You and I have many times postponing for interviews, movies, and all of that. But look where we are today. So nothing surprises God about our lives. So he knew us before the foundation of this earth. When God had an idea, um, there's, there's a chapter that talks about that in the book. When God had an idea of having Vus, he had you as a security guard. He saw you as a biker. He saw you as a biker. He saw you as a biker. Yeah, you know, so God knew all of that. Until now. So tell me, someone would argue and say, um, the the idea of the secret. Sure. Um, the law of attraction. Sure. And, and, and all that. You know, um, this topic that you are getting into is very deep. Sure. I would like to have you on another episode. I'm and, available. And, and actually focus specifically on, on the training. No problem. And the understanding of the, the universe. As no problem. Because I'm horoscopes every day. And some of those manifest, you know, sure. and, you know, but yeah, let's, 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 I think maybe just to cut them, listen, everything around this earth evolves around God. Yeah. Nothing happens around like outside God because of he's the giver of life. So anything that is alive, anything that is here now, it belongs to God. This table belongs to God, but this table was done by someone and this table was extracted from a tree yeah. and the tree is nature. You know, so most people are going around looking for chairs and God has provided trees. So people, I think they want to be reminded that their brains are apps. So if they can use them wisely, they can do certain things. That's a little wisely. You know, <laughs> 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 um, you know, everything you see, religion as a whole was extracted from the Bible. Yeah. It's a matter of what did you take from the Bible and which did you loosen up on it? You know, when you talk the secret, you talk the book of Proverbs. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, as a man thinks, so is him. You know, as a man thinks, so is him. Yeah. Someone got that, ran with it. Yeah. You know, they created the secret space. As you think you are, you know, have you ever seen a guy who, who doesn't make sense to you, but he believes a businessman, even how he walks, how he dresses. You even look, this guy is driving a low profiled car. He's wearing cheap clothes, but his attitude. You know, so the secret promotes the attitude and I'm not against them. It, it, it works, you know, how you think you become. Yeah. If if you think like I think, you know, you would do like I do. Oh, okay. No, I get you. <laughs> no, okay. No, no, sure. no, like I said, sure. we'll have another day to, 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 Bingo. to dive deep inside this sure. particular item. Sure. Yeah, let's talk progress, man. Sure. Progress, like um, contribution into the world out there. Sure. You know, um... We, we we are in a very bad space, my brother. Sure, like, sure. Like I I mentioned at some point when we were having just a general conversation that eighty percent of young people mm. currently are are victims of of substance, substance abuse. Sure. Sure. Whether it's nyaube, mm. whether it's it's alcohol, whether it's you know any substance that intends to harm uh, your body, you know, and sure. How are we? How are we going to survive this? You know, how are we going to survive this? Do, do. Yeah, sure. We will, we will survive this. We will survive this because of you and I now are here and are talking about it. The only way to survive this, you know, it's what it is through these little programs that we are doing. Remember, we may not change the entire world, but changing one person, you have and you have changed like a generation, because a generation comes from one person. And what am I saying? There's this program that you're running, you know, the men's dialogue, men, all of that. That is not small. It is small to you because when God has deposited something into you, you know, you always feel you can do better than you want, you know. And what you're doing is not small, it's big. You know, I remember I texted you telling you I can get you space here. We can try and get this and that. What you are doing, it's very big. The world needs people like you and I. You know, it's easy to kill a beautiful idea. I don't know how, how, how this happens. You know, it's very easy to dent something that is beautiful, but it's difficult to assemble and, 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 and water and grow something that is beautiful. 
One disease. Mm. So I, I don't know how 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 this life operates on that, you know. And everything you wanna try do that is good. It, there's always um you know what obstacles. But this bo- one bad thing, someone will just say when you born, when you chill, you born. And for sure, you born a mother. That's you born. That's true. As a show, <laughs> and when someone says "God bless you," you kind of feel like it's uh, it's just a, a a normal term, you know. But we will come out. We need programs, number one, you know, as as a community, because of remember, a community it's community it's very religious, you know. So everyone believes what they believe in. But we need people like you who will stand up and say, "Forward with this. We will do this. We need people who will go back to schools in the morning while gating with the teachers." help the teachers for these kids to come into, you know, school early. You know, you would find go loko yaka mkombo, yina yaka mkombo lwazi. Loko jonza unit, loko vali lwazi babiwa. Loko jonza unit au biwa nawe. Yes, yes. Loko we are at in order, au biwa nawe. Edu buwe mkombo for. Imagine, you don't know this guy, you have never met him, you just heard he's a principal of uh, Huluazi. Uzo kshalo baba, enusaye skolwe, enusaye ushaye wanana po. It takes a village to... To raise a child. To raise a child. Yeah. We need to go back into that because of that's who we are. You know, yeah. that's how we design. That's how we wired. You are a preacher, my brother. I know if I get to go. Sure. On, awesome. On, sure. Cut me. Not, we might end up not getting into certain areas. Sure. Of conversation. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to having sure. you. Um, Petros. Yes. Petros. Yes. Arts. Yes. Talk to me about arts. Sure. Arts. Listen. What, what 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 impacts do you think arts can have in terms of uh, 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 contributing positively into our living spaces? I think um, as artists in South Africa, we are looking down on ourselves in many ways, particularly in the grassroots level, because of nothing that is not art. How your beard looks now, an artist had to shape it so to what it is. It's nice, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that might sound wrong, <laughs> but hey, I love mine this way. Yeah, sharp. And for this outfit, I, w- I was complimenting you on this school. Man, this is, you know, I love, I love fabric, yeah. you know. Yeah, for, 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 for the t-shirt inside, someone had to print it. So art is every day. This book, someone had to design it. Someone had to print it. This mic, this glass, this juice. So art is everything. Yeah. You know, art is everything. I think if we can come together as artists and work on this thing, uh, this thing can work for us because of, for us, for me to be here, this is art. You know, this will be received through the art space. You know, though it's in the media, but you know, media and art, they work hand in hand. So art plays a very huge role. And everyone is an artist, just that we don't know uh, the value of what we are given. You know, in this book, it's it's part of art and me, obvious. And I'm an artist myself. Yeah. You know, every time I go on stage, I always want to have impact. I was performing with Nis Keys two weeks back. And you could see how these kids were so happy to watch a play. And I was playing Lucky there, kissing Whitney. You know, that was art. But the, the reason why there was that art is because of the kids are studying a book called Whitney's Kiss. So for them to have a broader understanding on the book, they had to come watch us perform the book. Mm-hmm. Do you see the impact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So art plays no, a very huge role. No, I get you. Yeah. Now, politics. Sure. The state of, of the country as it stands. Sure. Now. What's your view? What's the way forward? You see, I think it's time now that the black child rise and take charge. You know? Yeah. Um, I was listening to Dr. Omar, you know, elaborating further on certain things. He said, South Africans and Americans, we have the same power in our hands now. You know, next year we are voting. And as we are going to vote next year, we have the power to put who we want to put in power, number one. And secondly, he said, if we want to show them that we are powerful, let us not all, all show up. Is that, is that a good advice, though? That is a good advice. Because at, this, at the point we are in now, everyone has failed us. Hmm. Yeah, everyone has failed us. It's a matter of uh, who, who does this how and who does this how because of someone is promising us this thing that he doesn't know how he's going to get it to us because he's still struggling from it you know and this one who has it he doesn't want to reveal it it's more or less who is like this guy is telling us what we want to hear you know but he is not and this one he's giving us but he's not telling us what we want to hear so we're trapped between them you know yeah um i once went to zimbabwe and there's this other space where I went to and I saw there were tractors and all these farming things, you know, and they were old. They look like fossils. When I tried to do, to do my research uh, around that, someone said to me, the day, the day 
the owners left. That was the last day that they functioned, mm. you know. And that again said something to me. So um, I'm, I'm trying to say we have the power. It's up to us. Sure. Before we leave. Sure. Music. Sure. In very short. Sure. What's your favorite genre of music? Ah, it must be soul. Soul. Soul and quiet. Soul and quiet. Sure. Favorite, favorite <laughs> artist. Ah, I'm soul. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, he was my everything. Baba. Yeah. Baba. Sure. That guy was very inspirational. He's still, to me, he's still, very he's just old. He's still, things, yeah, things like, speak to this day. Like Next every time I wake up in the morning, I listen to stars. You know? I wanted to be Zola Seven. The dark, like the stars of Sue. I wanted to be Zola Seven growing out. <laughs> you know, yeah, we all wanted to be sure. Zola Seven. Sure. Lucky enough, I've met the guy. Sure. You know, I've, I've met the guy um, in Orlando at the OCC. You know, sure. Very humble soul. Big time. He would he would come there at some time and just chill with the artists that sure. were working in that space. Sure. And that, that kind of like showed to me that he was not like one of those characters mm -hmm. but he was the actual man show big time uh, you know like he was not yeah. portraying a character of a mentor but he was being a real show into a big show he made sure that he nurtured the talent around the shops until until the unfortunate situations that came to his life sure um yeah education um listen um i i believe in education you know but part of me me i'm shangan so I believe in skills development. Skills development. Sure. And there's something we just said with a friend, I think two days ago, and we'll be doing something about it, uh, that education, it's the key you know, to success. Opportunities are doors. So you must have a key to unlock the door. Yeah. If you don't have the key to unlock the door, even if the door is yours, you will never ever unlock it. So you will stand there and remain there forever. So people, let us go back to school. I started as an artist and as an amateur, but today, every time I get a chance, I go back to school mm -hmm. because I've learned the importance of that. One time I got a job somewhere, they were impressed with what I'm doing, you know, but they were not impressed because of I don't have the qualification. In the book, I speak about that, you know, they were put in a different way that grace supersedes, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. but it's, it's to say formal and informal education, it is important. You might be an expert in what you are doing, Everyone will refer everyone to you because if you are an expert, but there's a qualification that can take you from where you are into a new level. So mm. they must balance. Mantra. What is your mantra? Um, what you do is what you receive. What you do is what you receive. Sure. There's, as long as the earth remains, and the Bible says as long as the earth remains, there's going to be planting and reaping. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> my Africa man. Sure. This is the book. Sure. Um, the number is here to Cosa. contact him, Petros Teddy Cosa, for purchases, private passage purchases. I uh, will also give you information as to sure. how to get it in stores. Sure. It's called Learning to Love Myself Through Tears. Please go and buy the book. And also subscribe to his channel, uh, David on TV. Oh, well. Also follow um, uh, his uh, radio station, Radio Vuta. Sure. And also. Check him out at Ruta Joel Art Center. He's got programs that is running there, yeah. which are art related. He's got theater productions. He's also into film. He's been promising to cast me for some time, though I'm still waiting for that casting. Well, but I know it's coming and everything yeah, has. Sure. So thank you very much, Teddy, for, for showing up, my brother. Yes. Can see the, thank you so much. You can see the thing. You can see the but I know it's my dad. Ketsila, thank you very much for showing our comments. Um, we, we are going to definitely invite you for the next session of the interview, um, which will be mostly on, on, on other items that we've just passed on. Sure. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. can see the size of the camera in ball. Thank you, Cops. Thank you. They say I'm good and I'm cute, but I can't move. I don't know about you. Me, I'm a big friend.